In this tutorial, we will be creating some objects based on what we learn in previous tutorial. We will be creating this object and this object. Click on new. Ok. At first we will create this object. In this object we will have to create this shape on vertical plane. Click on extruded boss base. Click on vertical plane. This front plane. Then create one rectangle. Center rectangle. And give the parameter length is 75. Width is 9. Smart dimension. Length is 75. And width is 9. Then next will be these two circles of 15 and 23 radius. Click on circle. Drag the point. Create two circles. Smart dimension. Internal is 15 that is 30 diameter. And external is 15 plus 8 23 that is 46. Then the height of circle from this top line is 40. Given smart dimension is already on. Click on this center point and this horizontal line. Give the gap of 40. Then we don't need above circles. Create one line from quadrant to quadrant. Right click, select, right click, line from this quadrant to this quadrant. Right click, select. Then trim unwanted object. Click on trim to closest and remove the unwanted object. Right click, select. And here vertical lines are required. Click on line, create one vertical line from here to here. Right click, select. Then this line will be symmetric around vertical axis. Create one center line. Right click, select, then make it symmetric. Select this line, mirror entities, click on mirror, mirror entities. And mirror axis will be this line. Done. Then give the gap will be 4.5. Smart dimension from this axis to this line, 4.5. Then again trim the unwanted, trim entities. And make a close object. Ok. Then ok. Back. Then I want to extrude it around center on both sides. So therefore I will take this option mid plane. And give the total width of 50. I am taking this mid plane so that we can create this rib on the center plane. Then click on OK. The next will be to create this rib. Click on this rib. Then select this front plane. Then click on normal. Normal to create one line from this end point to this end point. Right click. Select. Then back, then give the thickness of 8 and it is around both sides, then ok. Then same rib I want on the opposite side also. So select the mirror, click on mirror, then select mirror plane. So mirror plane will be at the center, click here. And select this right plane. Then features to mirror. Select this feature. And click on OK. Then isometric view. This object is ready. Again click on new. OK. Then next object is this one. In this object at first we will create this rectangle of 100 by 
24 on vertical plane click on extruded boss base select this front plane and select rectangle center rectangle smart dimension give the length of 100 and width of 24 then back and give the total length of 160 okay then next will be this cut of 52 by 10 the gap is 24 this line length is 24 click on extruded cut select this surface then create one rectangle two point rectangle corner rectangle select first point and select second point smart dimension from here to this vertical line is 24 then internal length is 52 and 10 so this height is 10 and this length is 52 then back now I want it through so click on through all ok so it is cut throughout then next will be this cut small cut of 12 by 12 and again extruded cut select this surface create one rectangle corner rectangle from this corner to inside give the parameter smart dimension this is 12 and this is also 12 then back again through all ok the same I want on the opposite so we can mirror it click on mirror select the plane plane will be the center plane click on this plus and click on this right plane the feature to mirror is this feature ok zoom fit then next portion will be this portion for this portion we will create one rectangle of 60 by 76 and we will extrude by now this 12 we are not considering that means 30 plus 30 60 click on extrude boss base select this surface then select this corner rectangle from this corner to this edge then smart dimension length of this line is 60 then back the height is also 60 Done. ok then we want a circle here for that click on fillet then select full round fillet select this surface then send, select this surface click here and select this surface then ok then one hole is needed here click on extruded cut select this surface click on circle create circle at the center then smart dimension give the dimension of 30 diameter enter back click on through all then ok then next will be this rib click on rib click on this plus rib will be on the this right plane click on right plane make it normal normal to create one line from this end point to tangent to this circle so take your cursor ahead until tangent symbol is shown once tangent symbol is shown click there and right click select then back orbit it give the thickness thickness is 12 give the 12 ok 
this object is also ready so thanks for watching we will stop here